Hello, my name is Bill Xu. I'm the Director of Product Management for Image Processing at Christie Digital. So our adoption or application of SDVOE is in our Terra line. So what is Terra? Terra is a switching control KVM and processing platform that's based on SDVOE 10 gig solution. It's uncompressed AV over IP, you know, based on SDVOE, very flexible. Uh, you know, we have adopted into a number of our products and uh, it very importantly, it also operates with other SDVOE products. And that is an important point. There are many AV over IP products out there. You have lots of choice, but many of them are proprietary. So that means if you have some shortage in parts, et cetera, you might be out of luck. And that could last a long time as a lot of the SIs experienced during COVID, right? So SDVOE is an open standard and it works with other SDOE products. Okay, so why Terra? Okay, SDOE is the platform that um, transports and distributes signals at uncompressed 4K 444, right? What we offer is, you know, additional features such as video wall, windowing, uh, we, we take control and KVM over, and also really important is sync. And that's another reason people want to buy SDVOE. Okay, many of customers says, oh, I have this auditorium application where, you know, we use AV over IP. So while the, you know, the president of the companies give a talk at an auditorium, he's also, you know, display on other panels, right? So you're at the auditorium listening live to the talk. And then you realize, oh, his lip sync, it doesn't lip sync because there is a latency. With SDVOE, there's almost no latency. It's, it's zero frame latency, right? So from Christie product line, uh, the Terra transmitter and receivers are, you know, the sander and receivers. Uh, we have Terra controller. Now, some people built the control function into a transmitter or the receiver, right? Typically a receiver because receiver does less processing, so have more power to do control. We separate have a controller that give you a lot more reliability, more stability. It's a very powerful uh, PC actually. And not only we give you a, a, a one controller, we also offer a hot standby. So you can have a primary and a backup. So if one stops, you have another one pick up seamlessly. I mean, we have experienced customers when we visit on site, we realized their primary was down, but the customer didn't even realize it because it's seamless, you know, when we did our service calls. So that's uh, the, the benefits, right? And we built SDVOE into a number of our, our projectors via a uh, input card, uh, uh, our LED controller, uh, also our Pandora show control box. So we're really, really hot on the uh, SDVOE. Okay. Some of the uh, application, you know, as a simple extension, we have a, you know, push button that will copy the EDID from the display and copy it over to the transmitter. So that will send down to the source. And the key thing is there is no compression up to 4K and zero frame latency, right? Um, in terms of uh, uh, switching, the notable features are, one is highly scalable because our controller is separate. Now, if you have a built-in controller to the transmitter receiver, then you have a little scalability limitation. We can deploy hundreds of hundreds of nodes, no problem with a single controller, right? Uh, format conversion. So if you have DisplayPort input or HDMI input, we all convert to HDMI out. Breakaway audio, and it's cost effective. It's actually pretty price competitive with the lower image quality 
uh, products and we offer API for third-party control. Okay, uh, receiver has a really nice scaler built in so I can upscale and then put it on the wall and I even have bezel compensation. So, you know, you, if it's a panel, LCD panel wall, uh, and I had a simple recall of presets via the uh, API, then I have a multi-view function so I can put multiple image on a, a single screen. And the, a, the controller makes the transmitter uh, downscale, okay? That, again, is more scalability. So I can do more windows in a single display, right? Because I, I take the processing of downscale to each sender, right? Versus receiver, you know, if I do a three by three window on a single display, that receiver needs to downscale nine sources versus, you know, my I'm sending the source in a downscale uh, already format. Right, so we have uh, KVM built in and uh, every receiver can be a KVM and it's actually full bandwidth. So I can even do data across, but we offer you the security of HID only. So a, number, a lot of our customer deploy the uh, sender and receiver in a HID only fashion. Okay, why SDVOE and Terra, right? Because you get the Christie service, right? We have service team all over the world and we have, we can support you, right? So some of, you know, the input cards for our projector, so you don't need an external box. Uh, for our Pandora box, there's a input card. So some case studies, this is a really nice, large deployment of our uh, Terra system. Um, we'll just talk about use cases. The first one is, uh, you know, it's a video wall, some breakout rooms, and I'm using Terra to uh, transmit and distribute the signals. And I have audio breakout from the receivers, right? So I can have separate audios. Then I have a uh, supervisor that manage the wall and the signal routing. So you know, that's a one-to-one, -one. right? We have presets, now you can, you know, that's a scaling of presets, more scaling, right? The second one, this is to show I can deploy this in a building, right? So multi-floors, the trick uh, is you have to plan enough bandwidth between your switches, right? So in this case, you know, I have, I think 160 of bandwidth. Yeah, 160 gigabit, 160 gigabit bandwidth between floors. So I don't have, you know, uh, oversaturation of that link, right? Again, it's a smaller, you know, secondary control room. There's a primary control room of one Terra system. And again, you have supervisor in each of the floors. And with this, we actually added a, uh, a, a high-end uh, video processor. Now I can do transitions, you know, special effects, etc. Right? So that's called dynamic windowing. You can schedule, etc. That's the uh, control interface. Now you have you know, window fly in, et cetera, et cetera. All can be programmed, right? And a third application is our Terra can support LED. LEDs are often non-standard resolutions. Terra work with edit of the LED sender. We can adapt to, you know, the custom resolution of a uh, LED wall. In this example, the output one, two, and three may be different uh, resolutions. They don't have to be the same, and we can stitch them. Again, you have the sources from uh, 
uh, connected to the Terra and uh, connected to our spider and spiders feeding the Terra. Terra is just using as a distribution. Actually, it's easier. You know, it doesn't have to do the processing work, right? All of my sources connected to spider, right? So basically the point is we're very committed and Christie is very committed to SDVOE and uh, we are deploying SDVOE over a range of our product. The reason it really offers the best image quality and latency free and our customer appreciates that. And the point of a control room is you want to be scalable and Terra can scale to hundreds and hundreds of points uncompressed. So you give much better image quality and, you know, nowadays more and more data every day and you want to be, uh, offer high resolution and we have LED, you know, LED walls that offer very high resolution. And also important is you want to have minimal, minimal latency and flexibility, right, of your design. So some of our applications are here. And for more information, please visit www.christydigital.com. Thank you.